What are lesions? A lesion is any damaged or abnormal area of tissue in the body. Since they happen in so many different places and types of tissue, they have many different causes and means of diagnosis and treatment. Most lesions are broadly categorized by where they appear in the body for example. Skin and mouth lesions are some of the most common types but there are also side specific ways of categorizing them. The effects of any particular area of abnormality depends on its placement, type and size. Skin lesions can be either primary which means that they cause a variation in color or texture of the affected skin or secondary which includes things like the scabbing that naturally forms on an abrasion or peeling that follows a sunburn. Moles, birthmarks, warts and hives are all common primary types while skin ulcers, scabs, fissures and lichenification are all common secondary types. Skin abnormalities can also be categorized by size appearance and whether they are cancerous or non-cancerous. As this type of damage can be caused by so many different things, the way they treat it varies. If they are caused by an infectious disease, then doctors generally try to treat the underlying condition rather than the lesions themselves. Sometimes topical antibiotics can help prevent further infection. Other topical treatments such as cortisol cream can be applied to soothe itchy or irritated skin. In many cases, treatment for harmless skin damage is primarily cosmetic. For example, patients may resort to laser surgery to reduce the appearance of a mole. Though the vast majority of skin lesions are harmless, some can be an indicator of skin cancer. Moles or birthmarks that have an uneven edge or have a change in color may be cancerous particularly if they are larger than 0.19 inches 5 ma in diameter mouth. Most lung lesions are caused by either bacterial or viral illnesses or cancer. Sometimes cysts, holes or scar tissue can form in the lungs as well. There are also several types of congenital lung abnormalities including congenital cystic adenomatoid malformation, KM and lung sequestration. One of the most common types of lung lesion is a solitary pulmonary nodule SPN, which is typically a benign tumor but can be malignant in about 1 in 5 cases. Tuberculosis also causes lung lesions which may reactivate after treatment and cause another round of the disease. Many people with this type of lung problem don't know they have it and only find out when they get a diagnostic test like magnetic resonance imaging MRI done for another condition. There are a variety of treatments available for these abnormalities ranging from surgery and chemotherapy in the case of cancer to antibiotics in the case of tuberculosis. Not smoking and avoiding environmental factors like air pollution and asbestos can help prevent this type of lung damage. Other people can get a lesion essentially anywhere they can get a tumor. So the liver, pancreas, genitals, intestines, kidneys, bones, eyes and gallbladder can all be affected as well. Kidney and pancreas cysts are particularly common. Cells and molecules can also get lesions as in the case of sickle cell disease. 